Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Ruby. Today we are going to learn about the block, procs and the lambdas. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. Ruby provides other ways to handle the blocks of code using the procs and the lambdas. Procs are the objects that encapsulates the block of code. They can be stored in a variables and passed around like any other object okay so you can create the proc using the proc.new okay so proc.new will help you to create a proc using this proc.new and here we are just echo or print hello from the proc and how to call this just use the dot call method okay so this is that one if i try to just go over here and just paste it let's try to go with this one and hello from the proc okay so how to call this like this okay with arguments so here you can see we have passed the arguments okay here you can see 10 so it print the 10 with the value okay so if i go over here here you can see x puts this is the proc with the value whatever the arguments we have passed Okay, so here you can see this is the value with 10. So we have passed the arguments 10. So 10 it will prove. Okay. Output is 10. Passing procs to a method. So you can also do that one. So here you can see. So here we have passed proc.call ls. So my proc we have defined the proc with the name. Okay, so it will take the name puts hello name and we have called the function greet and here we are passing my procs okay so and how to call this one proc.call and here we are passing our argument right save this and you will get it over here hello alice okay next we have a lambdas lambdas are similar to the proc but it handles arguments differently so the syntax is different so you can create a lambda using the lambda keyword or the syntax is like this okay so la 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 lambda with this syntax okay and he here you can see puts this is the lambda with the value x so we have passed the value x like this okay so this is the syntax you can see about that one okay and if i try to run this here you can see this is the lambda with value 20 okay and with arguments you can also parse the argument like this okay and call with like this okay so in the next video we are going to discuss about the blocks procs and the lambda so you will get more clarity over it okay any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day